Students from the Ogden Weber Tech College come to us with a wide variety of backgrounds and many different circumstances. Many are adult and high school students who are here to get a great start on a promising career. Others are here to update their skills so that they can advance in their careers, while others are here for lifelong learning. But no matter what their circumstances, we are committed to helping our students graduate debt-free. Unfortunately, with the rising cost of living, many of our students are finding it more difficult to complete their programs. In order to help our students, we rely heavily on federal financial aid programs and on the generous scholarship support of corporations, foundations, and individuals who want to invest in the future of our students and our community. Last year, over 350 students receive scholarship support here at the Tech College. We'd like to introduce you to some of our students who have received scholarship support and as a result who are now achieving both their educational and career goals. Putting it all together, making it all work, um, being able to raise the kids and, and go to school together was, was, was a challenge, but it was a challenge that was worth it, obviously, you know. Um, the way things have turned out are, are just fine. My kids are all over 18 now and, and, and doing well, so it didn't have too much of an adverse effect on them. And, and um, it was kind of a different circumstance. I think I was the only single father in the program. That was kind of a challenge, getting people to understand that, yes, I am serious about what I'm doing because normally it's like, yeah, whatever, you know. And, um, but I showed them that I was serious, and I think that's what made the difference. And it, but it was a challenge. While I was here in that communications class, I said that um, I was going to deliver a baby by the time I was 45. Well, I'm 42, and I delivered a baby about three months ago at 5.30 in the morning in a clinic. So <laughs> I didn't even have to wait until I got my RN degree to um, actually do those kinds of things. And um, that was... Um, when I when that that morning I realized that my all of my goals that I had set for myself while here at the ATC were falling right into place quicker than I expected them to. As soon as I finished at the OWATC as a medical transcriptionist, I got a job um, right away after school as a medical transcriptionist. I work for MDSI now. And I work at home and I transcribe reports and it's been wonderful. It's worked out really well for me. Probably my biggest challenge personally during the time that I was coming to school was that my husband was is in the Navy and on his ship he had gone to over by Saudi Arabia to Bahrain and Oman and, and it was difficult for me um, as a student to concentrate on work and concentrate on that at the same time but the teachers were very understanding um, they helped me out with with a lot of the stresses that I had and um, I was able to complete my goal After I graduated, immediately I started working, looking for a job and then I applied to two or three places. So I got the job at the IRS and uh, they have been training me. I begin already. This is my fifth week, actually. And uh, it's, just, it's just so nice because 
They welcome me. It's such a good people. I have good boss and I have three jobs only. <laughs> and they are all good, good, good persons. Yeah, good people. For me to finish my education was a really challenge. My daddy died when I was 10. And we needed to start working to support the family at a young age. Then I got married. I went through a divorce. Two of my kids died. Then I remarried, my husband died, and then I remarried again, I got the divorce. I mean, life has been a really challenge. But I also can tell you something that through the challenges, you learn to know yourself and overcome those challenges, and, and, and that's what I did. I'm working in Primary Children's Hospital. I have been working there for more than eight years right now, and I'm doing two jobs. I'm doing a phlebotomy, working in the lab, and I'm working as an LPN. About it, the challenges I have here, uh, I say were, were few challenges, you know, especially my daughter, that I lost my daughter. Physically, you know, I have an accident. I, I got a total heat replacement. But even though the, I was walking here in crashes, my classmates always, they were willing to help me. My teachers, my classmates, everybody. Pam, many, many people that I have in my heart. And they will be there forever. So if, I didn't have all these people around me. I will be no in the position that I am right now. I will be not able to finish my school and support my family. So it was the best experience ever in my life. For the people who are investing money in education, that is the best gift that you can ever give somebody. Somebody like me that didn't have to know. Or for somebody else that they don't have the money to pay for school. I think education is so important in this world. It can make the difference in whether a person is self-sufficient or not. I'm really glad that people believed in me and were willing to put, put a little bit into my education so that I could show the world that um, I can be who I want to be and I can help another human being feel better um, in whatever circumstance that might be. It would change somebody's life. If, if you wanted to invest in something, that would be something that would be extremely rewarding um, and it make you feel like you made a difference in somebody's life. That is the best investment that somebody can give because it's a legacy. You give somebody some money today to go to school and that is a cycle. That is generation that will go, how can I say, that will pass on from generation to generation. Invest, help the next 
single father who um, happens to have a situation come up in life that, that makes it a whole lot harder to raise their family and still be a um, productive member of society, basically. If they invest here in education, they are doing the best investment in, in their lives. There's no any other place better than here. There's no any other reason to donate money or resources that for education. Education is everything for, for a person. Uh, if you are educated, you can do whatever you want, you can go wherever you want. You raise me.